Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. This will be my third video of the night and I've still got more coming your way. It's season five. Uh, it's currently about an hour or so, 45 minutes or so after the season five has dropped. And currently there are a lot of new things to go over. So I'm kind of picking and choosing, but I thought, why not? We've been discussing the locations, uh, assuming the locations for the last I'd say two weeks on here on the channel. So I think it would only be right if I showed off every new location that has come to Fortnite Season 5. So I'm in replay mode. I just jumped in the game of 50v50 just so I could get the replay. We're gonna we're kind of just gonna go through, look at all the the different spots, unnamed, named, and if I miss anything, leave a comment down below. And seriously, right now for me, can you touch that like button? It helps me out more than you think it does. And leave a comment. What's your favorite spot? That they have uh, added to season five i want to know so looking at a map here i'll bring it up for you and i'm looking to my side here because that's where my map at and that my map is it looks like we've got paradise palms in the bottom right there right we've got the new desert biome and that's what we're staring at on my screen in the background right now um we've also got lazy links and that's the golf course up at the north end of our map there and there's also some uh unnamed locations or without names right dusty divot has been changed completely it's now filled in we're going to go check that out there is also where the villain base used to be on the west side of the map near snobby shores that's turned into a viking area i believe we'll confirm that we'll head there in just a second and that's all i'm seeing on the map currently but again if i notice anything else as as we're going along we will check that out uh and if i do miss anything i'm sorry about that we will cover it but uh it's late at night i have making a lot of videos and just trying to get these out for you quickly so you can kind of stay updated on everything going down without further ado let's get right into it dude so i'm gonna be on times four speed we're just gonna rip through it go fast um this is we're gonna start with the desert biome why why wouldn't we why wouldn't we man this is the biggest change on the map They've added a bunch of the Paradise Palms, is the, the city name, and then, or the name location, and then there's a bunch of unnamed locations around it. So, again, not going to point out too much stuff, but we will try and go through the building super quick. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit as well. There we go. That gives us a nice view. So, it looks like Truckin' Oasis is our first spot. Unnamed location here on uh, in the desert biome. Could be a decent spot to land. I'm not sure too sure how much loot you're going to find there. Go over here, and we got a... Uh, a nice little pond and maybe a nice little lake I don't know pond lake whatever it is little uh, canoe in the middle with a chest spawn again maybe a decent spot to uh, land in solos at this point I couldn't really tell you uh, but maybe the the gas station to this chest spawn location rotation could be decent keep in mind we do have another river in this uh, this desert area this desert biome I'll call it it's not attached to the main river but these these river locations are, are obviously a point in the map uh, a weak point in the map if you're down here and your enemy is above you high ground is everything in this game so if they're above you you're probably in trouble so just keep that in mind try and cross this thing pretty quickly and uh, yeah don't stay in there too long here's another unnamed location this one might actually be a little bit more powerful this one reminds me of uh, favela if you if you guys ever played call of duty mw2 that's the vibe i get from this spot and uh there are chests we got one there two there so this could be a very good spot and i love what they did here man the the moisty mire leak by the guy who's getting sued uh was correct and uh and i th i think it was a great call by by epic because this side of the map, dude look at all these chests man oh my lord this can be a good spot uh this side of the map was never really utilized right and now that there's not only paradise palms but this unnamed location right here favela let's call it for now uh it's it's gonna be insane people are gonna come here there are gonna be multiple battles and i think it's gonna change up uh the style of fighting here in fortnite which i think is big all right let's head over we got dinosaurs man so there were dinosaurs we we had leaks about dinosaurs we thought it was jurassic jungle but uh we did someone did mention dinosaurs and we talked about this weeks or within the last week i should say and here we go we got a t-rex uh i forget the name of these dinosaurs stegosaurus is that this one here i might be wrong but either way we do get some dinosaurs after all that and a little house there i don't know if these things give you mats i mean i am a little early over here looks like kind of a junk junction vibe couple chest spawns you're gonna be able to get some metal i'm sure there's a chest or two in here and ooh, another one in there so this could be a nice little spot as well solo spot uh this would be maybe maybe a duo probably a solo probably a solo rotate over here what do we got we are going to go around to paradise palms don't you worry i see it over there 
I'm just doing kind of a big overview. Oh, there's the racetrack. So let's go to Paradise Palms first. Boom. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. You know what I love about this? There's no copycat buildings. You guys know a lot of the areas we see in Fortnite points of interest. They use the same buildings, right? Same chess bonds, exact same, exact same buildings. So you don't have to learn much. But this, this forces us to learn a lot more. And uh, oh, this building here, this one's going to be a hard one. Look how open and exposed you are. And you don't even have to place platforms to look in these windows. Ooh, this one's going to tick you off. You got to really use those uh, those headphones to hear where people are coming from. Oh, you're even open on this side as well. <laughs> That's going to be a deadly building. A beautiful location though. Oh my Lord, man. Fortnite did a great job with this one. I'll, I'll jump up and do an aerial view. Again, we're keeping it short. I'm going to be landing here, man. That is a good looking spot. Finally, we're going to rotate quickly to the racetrack. Uh, I'll give you an aer aerial view first. Boom, just like that. Not sure if you can actually race things on that. You probably can with the new uh, the new cart, can't you? Uh, that would that'd be a funny little video, I think. I'm sure someone will do it. Probably not me, but someone will. A uh, little diner here, I believe that is. Yeah, diner without the E. Little rundown. And then there's another building over here. Quickly, this is like the racetrack hub. It looks like you can get some food here as well. A couple chest spawns, of course. Yep, rent one right there, and that kind of does it for the desert biome. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on to the next area. I'm excited. They did so good with this area, this edition right here. Nice job, Fortnite. I'm impressed. We're making our way now to Dusty Divot. That's still what it's called, and a lot of the leaks said that the, uh, that the depots were going to come and replace this. At this point, I mean, again, I expect the map to continue to evolve as we go along here. But at this point, it's uh, it's still Dusty Divot, except it just looks really nice. We got a nice little pond here, a lot of trees. I'm not seeing any of those those mushrooms right now. Uh, I don't know if you can, I think you can see them in replay mode normally, but we'll see. And in here, I think we've still got the same chest spawns, it looks like to me, the same kind of area. We've just got trees inside, yeah, so there shouldn't be too much change for you in here. It just looks a lot a lot prettier man with more forestation for yeah forestation i don't know if that's actually a word what do we got here oh the ice cream truck man this thing is always it always sticks around somehow so not too much different there just more trees ponds and it looks nicer in general let's go check out that new link spot ladies and gentlemen welcome to lazy links <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. So we got a golf course and this is per I've actually been golfing recently in real life uh, Not good at it at all, uh, but such a fun thing to do man. Just casual good with your friends I wouldn't call it a lazy sport like it's a very very skilled sport I think technically it's just insane how good you have to be and consistent you have to be but lazy links is the name links is kind of a, uh, a Slang or casual name for golf. I guess uh, the links man. Let's hit the links so, and do they even have hole number? Oh, the dir hole four, par three. Well, I accidentally hit space again. So that's so cool. They're doing this. Let's go check out this main area though. This will be where you're going to want to be landing, of course, with the chest bonds. We'll quickly look through. I'm already seeing one chest, only one chest in here. So not too much. I love that we're getting so many new buildings because you guys know a lot of the areas, they, they're different arrangements and stuff, but they're copies of the buildings, right? Same chest bonds, exact same uh, gun floor spawns. So having completely new buildings, you know, in the Paradise Palms and then also here at Lazy Links just adds for so much more learning and grinding. And that's that's what keeps games addicting, at least for me, for for people that just love to have a fresh start type of thing. So I'm just quickly looking at all these buildings. I'm going to get an aerial view of this. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that. That's a huge. That's a pretty huge area. And with the tennis courts. So I still don't know how these, uh, again, I'm a noob because we're, we're early on in season five. You're going to be able to challenge your friends and stuff. I do want to make a video on that. I believe you can play golf against your friends, basketball uh, and beach ball. But at this point, can't confirm that. I just, I, I've kind of just been reading up on some of the leaks and things that are going down. And that seems to be the case. So there you go. Lazy links. Uh, a quick view of that. We're going to head to that last spot. Uh, the unnamed location that's replaced the villain lair. Coming in hot to that Vikings location. Look at all the people. The place I have it paused at is everyone skydiving in. Look at everybody coming in, man. I was one of them. This is where I came right away. So this is the Viking location. And oh, <laughs> this might be my favorite spot on the map. Uh, I'm just saying look wise obviously I haven't had time to, to check the chest bonds, but look at this ship man. This is insane 
This is insane. Uh, so we got this Viking ship. We got these Viking setups. And, and again, this was we, we leaked something. We knew a Viking location was coming. This was part of the leaks, uh, the teasers. Uh, we were talking a, a lot about it here on the channel uh, while we were waiting for, for Season 5 to drop. And I don't think they let us down. Once again, a completely new theme, a completely new uh, area theme compared to the other areas, other POIs that we've seen. And I freaking love it, man. I love it. I don't know if there's as much loot here. Usually in these open buildings, you don't find as much loot. I've, we've seen a couple chest spawns. Looks like a lot of floor loot, though, to make up for it. Um, but possibly a lack of mats. Maybe this ship gives you a ton of mats. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'll get a big aerial view of it for you. The villain layer, again, is completely gone. I like this waterfall they did here. I like how the ship's hanging right over top and the waterfall goes down. That's super cool. Am I missing it? Can you go inside? No, okay, just checking, just check. I'm seeing if they give us a secret waterfall. All right, I had to make sure. What if I missed that, man? What if I missed that? So that seems to be it. I believe this area was already here before. Yeah, that doesn't seem new. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That looks like all of our new POIs. And if I, again, if I miss something small or if I miss something big, I don't think I did, um, leave it in the comments down below. And if you're interested in that, Take a look at the comments down below and I'll, I'll look for those ones that point out information I may have missed and uh, I'll, I'll drop the heart or whatever so you can boost it up and, and other people can see it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to check out all the other videos I've uh, posted on the new shop skins that are going to be coming this week and then on the uh, tier 100 battle pass. I bought all the tiers. So it's been an exciting morning. I got more videos coming your way. Thanks for the support. Join the rushers by subscribing. Have a good one. Talk soon. Take care. Goodbye.